Hey guys, how's it going? Charms to Feast here. And can we first take a second to check this out? Oh my gosh, I gotta say, that was a satisfying shot. Now, Battlefield 2042 is, with all jokes aside, the game finally launched with Season 1 uh, of its Zero Hour content. Uh, which is season, the, the label they, it called season 1-4, we got a bunch of new content. Well, not really a bunch of new content. Only one new map, two new weapons, and one new operator. And we're going to talk about that in this video. And, well, definitely one thing for sure, you guys probably know. If you are sticking to the news for Battlefield 2042, you probably know what's up already. And I just want to share some clips from my time with the new map. And I gotta say... I am having the most fun with this game. It's gotten more stable, more... I mean, all around, it feels like the devs really listen to what's going on. Now, despite the rumors and everything like that about a skeleton crew working on the game, I feel like that should be taken with a grain of salt. I feel like we're definitely going to get year one content. I just really hope the game doesn't pull a Battlefield 5 where the content is lost and just cancelled and poured over into the next Battlefield. But with that being said, I gotta say, this new exposure map should have been one of the first launch maps. So all around, I feel like the, the sentiment for the game is that this is probably the best map. There's zones dedicated to infantry battles. It's multi It's like as if like Dav it has Davaman Peak, uh, Davaman Peak and Monte Grappa. If you remember Monte Grappa from uh, Battlefield 1, there's just those vibes. You have this verticality to the map, but there's different levels of interaction there's dedicated vehicle zone dedicated maps and such and everything like ugh, i gotta say like the gameplay wise and the gameplay loop is perfect i just love also the story i hope they actually add more storytelling elements into the game but it's very intriguing to see these futuristic uh, bunkers and everything like that and the story behind it is that that this is a facility some sort of special weapon testing facility that uh was was uncovered through due to a landslide and I have a couple rounds of playing uh, not only breakthrough on this map but also playing classic conquest and admittedly up until this point with more than eight months later of, of the game being launched I never really touched conquest for this game for this game was outside of uh, maybe portal uh, portal but I really enjoyed playing breakthrough because it feels a lot more purposeful a lot more linear it's kind of like playing rush without the arming objectives part but going to the, the uh, discussing the like the new content that we have on the horizon and i'm gonna try to keep it short because i'm pretty sure you guys know is that we only got two new weapons of course one new map but the map is pretty good uh the one weapon we got was basically as foul and you guys know i'm a big fan of the as foul weapons you see me use it in any game if it has it and i have a bunch of videos dedicated to just using that weapon platform in general which is kind of funny so but there is a little bit of a grind when it comes to the oh, also to mention the battle pass all these are though the battle pass is free and open oh, uh, for for unlocking the operator and the new weapons and a couple weapon and skins here and there it is a little grindy but not as worse as other games that i've seen when it comes to open battle pass and everything like that nevertheless uh, i haven't gotten around to unlocking the new weapon which is i believe is called the vsb or it's just essentially the as valve which can be tuned to be a full auto weapon a lot of people have been using it as a dmr i've noticed but also it can be tuned to be a full auto weapon also there's a crossbow with explosive bolts which is something i really want to get my hands on because i have such good memories of playing with a crossbow and battlefield breeze uh, return to car can dlc or i or i can't remember which dlc introduced the crossbow and it feels to be a little bit more intuitive this time around as well uh let's see how that goes i'm still playing the game and this is actually gameplay from my first hour and unfortunately the first hour in the game when it first launched there was error messages everywhere like there was a a, a a i just could not get into the server and if you guys are subscribed to me if you haven't done so hit that subscribe button it's a shameless plug <laughs> i i was had initially intended to live stream the game last friday but due to the first hour of the gameplay not being launched uh we had to wait of course the dice was really on the ball they really did a good job uh addressing it but in my opinion uh when you're gonna launch a game make sure it launches properly and no server crashes but i don't blame them but hopefully over the weekend and this new content we get more players to come through a lot of people have been saying that the steam database is uh so low but 
we can't just use Steam. I mean, we're counting out other platforms the games are on, like Epic and Origin, and of course, it doesn't take into account the, to the massive amount of console games gamers that I play. And of course, I feel like with the new stability, the stability, the new additions, and also there's a lot of uh, stealth additions to the game that I'm probably going to do a cover up cover video coming up pretty soon. So if you don't want to miss that, don't forget to subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And I'm really excited for the future of Battlefield. If they can keep this uh, this momentum going with the with the game and with the quality of content and not break anything, I feel like Battlefield can def Battlefield 2042 could definitely turn itself around. It's, it's it's always been a pretty fun game to me, probably because I've had a pretty good system to run the game on. But with all the stability, all these new contents, and I gotta say, I'm really having a great time with the game. Nevertheless, as I wrap up here, I just want to talk about the new operator. Uh, her name is Liz Awalina Liz. I can't really pronounce it, but her her specialty is just she has a, a remote controlled rocket, which is a ton of fun to use if you guys saw in the gameplay. Just guiding around the map, and it's a great way to deal with like pesky airborne uh, helicopters. Of course, I forgot to mention helicopters. There's two new helicopters in the game as well. Uh, like I said, I'm just freeballing it at this point. Hope and. I just wanted to talk about the game, push this video out real quick before I, I lose the content. Nevertheless, I'm definitely going to be playing more Battlefield. We're going to try to grind and get those weapons. I already unlocked the Operator and she's a ton of fun to play. Uh, they've also removed uh, the, uh, the cringy end of round uh, round game, uh, what do you call it? end of round lines that they would do where like soldiers stand around and say weird cringy lines. They've removed that and honestly, the game feels a lot better, a lot more. Uh, grittier and I look forward to the grittier textures and the grittier overhauls that they have planned for this game. Nevertheless, this is Shar MCP signing out. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay. There's a lot of great moments here for you guys to enjoy. Uh, let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about this update if you're playing Battlefield at all. I highly recommend picking it up if you can. Uh, if it is on sale next time, it's, it definitely needs some love. But nevertheless, this is Shar MCP signing out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Control most sectors on the battlefield. Occupation of Bravo sector complete.
longer, we'll all be killed. Evacuate all our remaining troops. Lost control of an objective. 